Today I'd like to show you a quick experiment that kind of demonstrates the reaction between hydrochloric acid and aluminum. Uh, you can use this for a number of different topics in chemistry, uh, solution chemistry, um, acid-base reactions, kind of. Uh, you could fit it in with talking about um, acids attacking metals. Uh, anyway, it's kind of fun. So what you do, you need to have a little reaction bottle. I've taken, drilled a hole in the cap of this soda pop bottle and put a piece of tubing in it. I have a tub of water here that has uh, liquid dish soap in it and um, I have some of the works and aluminum foil. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the aluminum foil, we'll crumple it up and put it into the bottle. And that's where our reaction will take place. So this reaction takes a couple minutes to get started, so we'll kind of cut and make it go faster. But once the aluminum foil is in there, you squirt your hydrochloric acid in. Again, you need to get the right works. Uh, at Walmart, they they sell it. It's uh, pretty inexpensive. You know, I think this costs a dollar twenty-five or something like that. So I have my hydrochloric acid. I have my aluminum. I'll put the cap on the little reaction bottle. Uh, you notice I'm not hurrying. Again, it's going to take probably a minute before it really starts uh, reacting quickly. Um, kind of as it reacts, it's going to get hot. Uh, it'll start uh, generating lots of hydrogen, and we'll stick the tube down into the water to generate bubbles. So the soap will kind of contain the the hydrogen, so then you can play with it with the students. Um, you can see it's just starting to bubble a little bit right now. Uh, once it gets going, on the outside of the aluminum, typically there's a coating of aluminum oxide, which is uh, takes a minute for the acid to get through the aluminum oxide to, to the aluminum, and as it heats up, the reaction really cranks up fast. I can hear I'm just starting to get a few bubbles down there. Ah, uh, there it goes. So now, it, now it's starting to take off and I'm getting bubbles on the surface. Uh, you can take your lighter and a little flame, touch it to the bubbles. Not bad, but we'll get a fireball there. There we go. So that those first ones still had some oxygen in them. As they get full of only hydrogen, then we get a nice fireball. Uh, if you really want to make it exciting, you could add a reaction with oxygen so that it always explodes instead of doing fireballs. Um, you could scoop up the fireballs in your hand. There, you can scoop up the bubbles in your hand and do it off your hand. So there's lots of things you can do with it. Kind of entertain the kids. Um, make sure you don't have any hair hanging down. Luckily, I'm protected against that. Fun experiment. <laughs>